I'm Matthew Johnson, I'm a lecturer in politics at Lancaster University and I went to schools in Northumberland. Now my name's Tony Bennett and I work on the National Apprenticeship Service in Newcastle. My name's Kevin Ray, I'm uh, 51, just. I come from a mining background, um, from Ashton. I come from a working class background. My name's Carl Burton and I'm unemployed. Yeah, my name's Keith Saint, I went to Pegswood First School and Bothell Middle School after that and then Ashton High. I didn't like school, it was, uh, there was too many social problems involved with the school to really concentrate on, on learning anything. Well, I absolutely hated school and it felt like um, a prison sentence. So all I can remember is high school and that was terrible. It didn't allow you to be creative. It was very much, you know, here's what you have to learn. I don't think they liked us, but I don't think I gave them anything to like. Like a lot of people, when I first went to school, it became apparent that it wasn't necessarily a good thing to be clever at school. University was never discussed when I was at school. It was just a point. It was a pointless waste of time discussing some like uh, university to somebody who was um, thick as two short planks. I was very bored and disinterested with what they had to say. Uh, it just wasn't a place where I learned effectively. Um, I don't think the teachers had very much in the way of expectations for me either, really. One of the, the big things when I was at high school was just constantly being told that I was going to fail all of my exams. The school had no expectations for me whatsoever. Um, they told me as much frequently. Just pictured myself doing something like being a bricklayer or even a labourer. I definitely didn't want to have a boss. So I, did, I remember when I got to the end of high school, I thought if I could just get five C's or above, I could get into um, sixth form college. After school, um, I basically ended up unemployed. I couldn't wait to go and sign on because I got paid. I was sitting around doing out all day. I remember uh, doing quite well in the GCSEs. I far exit, didn't fail any. Since leaving school, I've been I've been back and forward to college. I've enrolled on several different courses. To get money, I was either signing on or getting temporary jobs where I could. So I remember the two years at Sixth Form College completely changed my view of education. Education went from being something that was horrible and unpleasant and it was prison-like to something which was um, actually enjoyable and built my self-esteem and built my self-respect. You know, I did, I did me learning after school really, you know, my education, but only on the things that I was interested in. As a consequence of going to sixth form college, I decided that I'd then go on to university. I wanted to go to university. Um, I had a naive idea of what university was going to be like. You know, it was going to be like Brighton Revisit or something. What drew me back in education was uh, the several reasons. Um, first of all, um, my parents obviously were a bit disappointed. I felt I was letting my parents down. There was such high expectations from when I was younger. As soon as you said at your level, I thought this is going to be really difficult. And it wasn't because I'd been doing photography for a long time. And I pretty much had the course that they wanted from us among the work that I already had. There wasn't a great deal I had to do. Um, so I, I, I kind of like was pleasantly surprised that I was, I was, I was kind of like found it easy. I had no qualifications at all, so I went and I did a couple of all levels just to get myself like into, a, into, into, into college again. And then I did an access to higher education course. I had no idea what university would be like. To me, it was um, a dream. Outside of school, you threat as an adult. I was in my 40s, you know. But again, I could apply myself to something that I was interested in. I love photography and I, I, I wish I'd gotten into it earlier. From September till New Year, I didn't do a thing at all. Uh, I just walked around uh, and talked to myself thinking, why am I here? I expected it to be this like posh place full of people who were quite intimidating and that. And it was for a little bit. Uh, university was totally different from high school. High school was, 
It was basically, um, this is how it passed the exams. I felt got used to it and it was absolutely fantastic. It was, the, it was probably the defining experience of my life was uh, going to the university, it was brilliant. Towards the end of undergraduate studies, I decided to apply to do postgraduate studies to do a master's and um, PhD. Because again, that was a way of not working. You know, there's lots of intelligent people out there, but you know, a lot of these intelligent people have got stupid opinions as well. And, and I suppose the thing that was brilliant about the experience of being at university was that you felt that you as an individual had something to contribute to the world. I felt a little bit more fulfilled, you know. Uh, I felt more confident and I, I did learn a lot of things, you know. If you find the right educational um, environment, it can be a liberating experience and it can um, give you opportunities that you wouldn't otherwise have.